A wrestling subculture is sprouting in Singapore. Yes. And we're not talking Greco-Roman here. Nope, this is all about over-the-top theatrics and ridiculous characters inspired by Hulk Hogan and Macho Man Randy Savage. This is Singapore Professional Wrestling. It's unabashedly fake and in your face. Who are these wrestlers getting slammed in the name of glory? Well, let's find out. First, we meet the statement. Are you a trash talker? Of course I'm a trash talker. I'm the biggest trash talker. I'm a heel. You know, I always love to be a heel. But actually right now, uh, I'm like an anti-hero. You know, I'm like the... Are you a villain? Anti-hero, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm the I'm the bad guy that the fans love to hate. And, uh, yeah. and uh, the fans uh, hate to love. Lah, so, But it's okay. You know. it's the most important thing is always uh, to get a reaction from the crowd. Because when I step through the curtain, when I step out of the curtain, be inside the ring, outside the ring, on the mic, inside the ring, I just want to make a statement and leave a statement on everyone's mind. Yeah, yeah you know, I want to be an asshole outside in real life, but I can't, you know, I can't do it, right? So I just do it inside the ring. Yeah. Then the butcher man. The butcher man is just a very uh, thrill hungry and also human flesh uh, hungry person. Uh. So uh, the only thing he wants to do is just to get his hands on a human being and just sink his teeth into that person. So you're a cannibal? Yeah, d d definitely a cannibal. So show me what's inside, like what have you got what thing, uh, to so, show? Have you got salt? No, I don't have salt but I have uh, blood. Uh, I think this is uh, perfectly normal for a butcher. Uh, okay. So just all the blood on the shirt. Okay, I also have uh, bloody creep bandages uh, on my hand, just in case I cut myself. Uh, there's also an apron, I mean of course, uh, essential for a butcher. Uh, my pants, ripped jeans. Okay, and of course, okay, I, 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 I kind of uh, get possessed when I hold this cleaver. <laughs> but I'm intrigued most by Alexis Lee, the first female professional wrestler in Singapore. Do you think that being a wrestler or choosing to do this in Singapore is wanting to stand out, wanting to be different? Like, is it making a statement? When I go to people and tell them, like, I'm a pro wrestler, and they're like, what? Like, you're a wrestler? People keep thinking, like, oh, the girls can't wrestle as well as the guys. They can't, they can't hold their end compared to the guys. It used to be where women are like the toilet break matches. So it's kind of like, oh, the woman's coming on. Let's go hop to the toilet. Alexis's path to wrestling was driven by being different from the crowd. How did you get into it? By watching in high school when I was like being bullied and I, I just got home and I was like so pissed off one day. I wanted to kind of like fight back my bullies and I just said to watch wrestling. I'm gonna do that. Who's your number one fan? Have you got one? I would say my number one fan's my girlfriend, but that's like, you know, typical stuff to say. Do your fans know that you're bisexual? I don't really keep it a secret, like, um, it's on my Instagram, so, and on my Facebook, so it's like, whoever's like on my, either accounts, they would actually know that, so it's fine. My family is a bit on the conservative side, they can't wrap their head around it. Well, it's not like we really talk about it, you know, the usual style where you just sweep things under the rug and when it comes out, it's like, you just have to figure it out. For Alexis, wrestling was a way to stand up for herself and also be who she felt she was meant to be. So it's like, you know, you have a chip on your shoulder where you, like, you just want to prove people wrong. You just want to like, get to where you're meant to be, which right now is the Queen of Asia title. The Singapore Pro Wrestling Federation started in 2012 with 60 people in the audience. Today, their matches draw hundreds of fans. We started out in like warehouse shows in community centre shows and the best part is there were so many wrestling fans in Singapore who noticed this and they were like, oh my goodness, you're finally doing some sort of wrestling in Singapore. They've stayed our faithful fans and we've slowly grown into bigger arenas and bigger arenas. What's so special about pro wrestling is the honesty of the event. Uh, 
if you want to jeer or shout at a piano recital, for example, or ballet performers, you can't. But here you can be as honest as you want with your feelings, with your feedback. Many of my boys take their time off work. Many of them have sacrificed regular jobs. They sacrifice their health just to do this. But them pursuing their dreams, all of them are very inspirational to me. Tomorrow is fight night, and I'm going to go out and meet some of SPW's original fanatics. We're at GNB Comics here in Singapore, and we're going to go and speak to Bernard, who is like a super fan, and ask him a little bit about SPW and what we can expect tomorrow. This is the, one of the events where I truly see social cohesion, where uh, the Chinese, the Malays, the Indians all get together, have a good laugh and then enjoy the action, enjoy the humour. So uh, it's something very unique uh, in local wrestling promotions and uh, everybody for all walks of life, different religion and uh, different dialect group, they all enjoy the, the humour. Like for example, when you see like one of the characters, Dr. Gore, when he comes to the ring in his medical outfit, you have fans chanting out names of local hospitals like Kutek Pua or Tan Tok Se, and everybody just have a good laugh. And we make it relatable to them. So many of our characters are regular workers, are students, are heroes. We have storylines like your boss is evil, your boss is mean to you. And that's, the ma that's when the magic happens, when when the audience members can see themselves in their heroes in the ring. Uh, that's what I call good entertainment, when the fans don't need to suspend their belief. It's fight night, and in less than an hour, the bell will toll and wrestlers will enter the ring. So it's almost showtime. We're here outside with all of the fans. It's definitely pretty excited out here. So let's see what happens. Fans from all walks of life are here getting hyped. So what I love about this is because it's very Singaporean. It's something that when we were young kids, right, we would grow up watching our heroes on wrestling, say, oh, we will never do this, we are from Singapore. And here we have guys like uh, The Statement, Afi, Aiden Rex, they are doing the stuff that we wish we were done when we were older. So that's why I keep coming back. It's just nice to see that there is not only wrestling in Singapore, but wrestling that's not shy uh, with its Singaporean roots, it fully embraces the Singaporean roots. The flavour is there, uh, there is a lot of Singlish, there is a lot of local slang uh, in the storytelling and in the even the actions itself. So it's, it's I really want to support this sort, of, uh, this sort of product. Meanwhile, our girl Alexis Lee is getting ready backstage. Alright, so we're here now at the venue. How are you feeling about tonight? We are like just, what, minutes away from the doors opening. It's gonna be insane with like, what, 300 screaming fans. Do the fans make you nervous? Every time. Every time you hear like, the, like when they're counting two and then like they kick out, every single time there's like a pin for sound of it and like you hear the fans just go cheering like go, wah! It's, it's really like, your heart's just stop for a moment. So when you got your costume, it's like you have your boots, your socks, your knee pads, what else is missing? Right now, my makeup, my little braid that I have, and definitely my scalping. Yeah. I'm gonna go full duck mode. Are you? Yeah. Is like your character a part of you that you wish you could be more often or? It's definitely, it's like in real life, you can't be too much of a dick, an asshole. But in the ring, I just don't care much. I just like, whatever it takes to get the win, I'll try to do my best. So even if that means I might have to play dirty, I have to like show someone out of the ring, I don't care. And with that, I leave Alexis to finish getting into character and head ringside for the show. <laughs> After three fights, the crowd is even more pumped and Alexis makes her way into the ring. 
The showdown for the title of Queen of Asia is an all-female three-way battle. Alexis takes to the ring for an epic battle against Crystal from the Philippines and the Japanese title holder Riho. Alexis tries her best, and there's a minute of hope when Riho and Crystal start fighting each other. But ultimately, Riho reigns supreme. Riho keeps her crown. But even though she lost, Alexis comes out as the real star of tonight, on her home turf. But like with all these people here, they understand where I'm coming from, they understand all the things I'm doing. And, and they eat it up, they love it. They, 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 they're just so thankful they are putting our bodies right on the line inside the ring. Just to entertain all these hundreds of people. So it's great, it's great. Singapore is a country of strict rules and regulations. Reflecting upon the wrestlers I've met, it feels to me that these merry band of misfits are rebelling against the pressure to conform while at the same time creating something that is uniquely Singaporean. And that's pretty cool. Coconuts TV.